Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer repair video. Today I've got the HP OfficeJet Pro 9025. Basically, if you're having any issues with your print quality, a certain color just isn't printing, or you have an overall and general print quality issue, today I'm gonna show you a method and a product that is gonna help you potentially solve your problem. Okay, so this is an instructional video and I'm gonna be going through everything that you need to do in order to uh, uh, fix this problem. Uh, but I do provide information in the description below for my product, the Best Printers Cleaning Kit, uh, which is right over here. There are also gonna be instructions in the package uh, that come with the cleaning kit. So if you use the instructions that are in the, uh, that's in the box, uh, with the cleaning kit along with this video you'll have a really good understanding of what you really need to do so before we get started i just wanted to mention um, a few things one is amazon prime now if you don't already have amazon prime i'm going to leave a link in the description below uh, right under the link for the uh, best printers cleaning kit for amazon prime you can get this product within a day or two if you're really needing it urgently uh, and it's a 30-day free trial so you can sign up for that link below and I really hope that ends up helping you out. Now I also have my website bestprinterstech.com link for that below as well and any other products that I mention in this video everything is going to be in the description below so I hope that all that information ends up being helpful to you. If this video this information ends up being helpful also uh, make sure to share it, uh, like, comment and subscribe if you have any questions at all comment below and I'll do my best to help you out with whatever dilemma you're facing. That's really all I have for now. So without further ado, let's get this started. All right, you guys. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your settings. Now you're, you can check on your ink levels, but I'll go into um, that later as far as uh, how your ink cartridges actually affect this problem. Now you slide that down and you're going to click on the settings tab there and you're going to slide all the way down to where it says printer maintenance and reports. Um, you are going to want to print out a report, which is going to be the uh, print quality report. This report is very, very important because it's going to show you and help you determine what color you actually need to work on when you get the print head out. And I'll explain all of those terms later on in this video. But well, you're going to have this uh, report print out. And as soon as it prints out, we are going to talk about it and I'm gonna show you what you need to look for. Okay, so there are four main colors that you are looking at and you can see there on mine, the magenta is not um, fully printed out. There is a chip in the corner and you are gonna have something similar. It could be lines, it could be spotted, uh, but there where I circled on the magenta, um, a part of the report, it's showing that that corner is missing and it should be whole just like the other ones. So again, any lines or splotting or uh, any other uh, missing uh, parts of this report as far as the colors, the four main colors, that is what you're going to focus on. You're going to hold on to that report, put it off to the side because that's going to be vital to you um, doing this repair. Now you're going to get your print head to the middle. All you have to do is uh, flip down the latch on the front of the printer and you're going to be removing your printer ink, um, allowing you and giving you access to the actual print head. So printer ink is very, very important. If you run it too low, you could damage your print head. And that is what is happening if you are having issues. Most likely there's going to be a link in the description below uh, for some brand new ink for this printer. But you see the latch there holding the print head in place. Uh, I want to make it very clear that all you have to do is flip that up. You stick your hand back in there and uh, you pull out the print head. Rewind it um, if you need to see that again. Uh, but it's very, very simple. There's a gray latch that's flipped down. You flip it up and you take out the print head. You see me there flipping it down. That is the latch that I'm talking about and uh, you see the arrow pointing up and you see me pulling up on it that's exactly how it's done uh, you, you just flip it up with your uh, middle or index finger and um, take out the print head it's made for that so now that we have our print head uh, we're now going to be able to do some work on it 
Now at this point, this is where you are going to be, uh, hopefully you've received your best printer's cleaning kit, but you're gonna be using your best printer's cleaning kit here. You got 20 milliliters to work with with this syringe. The fluid is specific for print heads so that it doesn't do any damage to them. But you're gonna grab your uh, syringe and the plastic tubing uh, that is connected to the syringe is what you are going to use. Now, this is where you determine, you look at your report and you look at this print head and you see that there's four different areas, four different colors that you could potentially work on and you are going to determine which one is the most affected. You can work on all of them, but again, pointing to this report, you wanna focus on the one that has the most, um, if you could say this damage, I guess, to the print head uh, or, or clogging that has been done to the print head and that is very prevalent. You can see that clearly on the report. I'm gonna start out with magenta, just so you have an idea here um, of how I'm using this report because that's really what's gonna help you with this. Again, you can do it to every single one of these nozzles. So you've got four nozzles and as you can see there, I'm gonna wrestle with this for a minute, but I will get the um, tip of the syringe on uh, using two hands. I'm uh, going to be placing that tubing over the nozzle and you just have to repeat that process with every color if you're doing a general cleaning on all of your colors. So just like that, you can see there that I was able to break away and use two hands, uh, but you're gonna make sure that that tubing is right over the nozzles. The nozzles are sticking out and luckily this print heads um, syringe uh, tubing is the perfect size for you to fit right over that. You are now using the syringe and you are pushing through the whole 20 milliliters. You see there what is happening. The ink is being pushed out. The ink is clearly um, being pushed all the way through the print head. And you can see there on the syringe, it should be pushing easily. Now I have seen it where there is some resistance and um, there's follow uh, there's some other additional steps that you can take um, to make sure that you're able to get all of the cleaning solution through which is heating up the cleaning solution and that's actually on the instruction so um, that is also an option but that's only if it's not already working now you clean out the um, you're going to clean out the uh, plastic container that you're using and but you do need a plastic container that is deep enough to cover the whole uh, print head and what you're doing now is clearing out that container and you once you bring it back fresh you can do it again now i'm gonna focus on the black nozzle this time and that is what is going to be worked on next so if you have a second color on that report that you are having issues with uh, that is what you're going to go to next. Now, if you're again, if you're doing a general and overall cleaning, you do it to all. But I would start out with those first two, or maybe it's just, hopefully it's just the one color that you're having issues with. And again, we're doing the same thing here, pushing the whole 20 milliliter syringe through that nozzle. Make sure that it is on there tight so that you can get all of that, flush it all through. And that's how this is going to be most effective. It's another reason why the Best Printers Cleaning Kit is the one I recommend. It's because I created it. I made sure that the syringe was not 10 milliliters, but 20. And uh, it is the best version of the cleaning kit uh, that you can purchase on the market. Okay, so now you're wiping down and cleaning off your print head. You don't want it to be wet when you put it back in. So you want to make sure that this motherboard on the back of the print head actually is completely uh, cleaned. Uh, make sure that it's completely dry before you even consider putting it back in. Uh, and that's all you really need is a rag to clean it off. Nothing special here. and the rest of it, of course, wherever it's damp, go ahead and dry it off. So same process, you lift up the latch and you place the print head in there. Use the, uh, the hand that is most predominant. I'm trying to use my left hand here and that's clearly not working. So get your, right, your predominant hand in there, get it fitted and latch it down. Once you've got it latched down, 
um, you are then going to install the ink. Hopefully you've got a fresh uh, set of cartridges. And again, there's gonna be a link in the description below. If this ends up not working out for you, there will be a link uh, for this printer in the description below as well. So everything that you need to do this repair and beyond is going to be in the description below. If you haven't already gotten your best printers cleaning kit, um, that's also going to be there. Of course, it's gonna be the first link when you go down there. And now, of course, you can print out another um, test page report to check and see how all of this turned out. That's really all there is to it, you guys. It's not rocket science, but it does require some technique. I hope that this video was helpful to you and that it was informative. If it was helpful, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any questions at all, uh, go ahead and comment below. But thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.